Welcome to the second section of the course Up Your Game with RxJS. This section will be a gentle introduction to RxJS. In this section, we'll first start learning about RxJS, then we'll get ourselves familiar with some Rx operators, and finally, we'll play around with streams. So the first video is all about being familiar with RxJS. We'll start with knowing a little about Rx, then understanding why it is important. Rx is another functional reactive programming library for JavaScript, and it's quite an important one. Rx has been there for around 9 years now. The latest version of RxJS is version 5. It was developed from scratch and aimed at speed improvements. As I mentioned earlier, RxJS is really important as it is part of Reactive Extensions family. The Reactive Extensions are a set of APIs for functional reactive programming. These are available in a variety of languages. The first Rx implementation was in .NET and later when Microsoft wanted to compile .NET to JavaScript, they ported Rx to JavaScript. The reactive extensions are heavily used by a lot of big companies. Netflix has invested a lot in RxJS, especially the new version. The latest version of RxJS can be found under reactivex slash RxJS on GitHub. You'll find all sorts of useful links for documentation, CDN links, etc. here. 